Today I want to share with you a strategy that some clients of mine use to help their kids buy their very first home. It's, it's not uncommon for first time buyers to have a hard time saving up their down payment fast enough to keep up with the market. And there's no shame in that because Toronto is a very expensive city. And the reality is a lot of first time buyers do get help of some sort. So I want to share with you a strategy that shouldn't cost you, the parent, very much money. But for your son or daughter, it's more like a forced savings plan. This tip is really for those families who aren't in the position where they can just gift money away. I should also mention that it requires the, the parent to own their home and to have built up enough equity in that house that they can now free it up. That's really the key to this. A lot of families are house rich, so hopefully this is relevant to a lot of you. Let me lay out a scenario. Let's say you've been living in your home for the last 20 years and you've paid off a significant portion of your mortgage. Maybe you're even mortgage free. And I think it's also safe to say that in the last 20 years, the property value has gone up and quite, by quite a bit. But the problem your son is having, and let's call him Bob. Bob is having a hard time saving up his down payment. And every year he needs to save more and more because real estate prices are going up. So the target is always out of reach. Have you considered refinancing your home and the rates are incredibly low right now and using that money to purchase a brand new pre-construction condo that won't be finished for about three or four years. It'll require a 20% down payment. But in the time that it's being built, Bob is paying you back. So when the condo is ready for occupancy, you, the parent, are ideally made whole again and Bob gets a brand new condo with 20% prepaid. This only works with pre-construction condos because there's no mortgage in the three or four years while the, while the property is being built. It's not realistic to expect somebody to pay the mortgage and have enough free cash flow to pay you back for your 20% down. I like this method a lot because it's a forced savings plan for your kid it's very predictable with the payments. There's a fixed period of time that those payments are being required back to the parents. And there's a very exciting reward waiting at the end of this. If you know of another way of helping kids get on the property ladder that does not involve already being very wealthy, I would love to hear it. Thanks for watching.